Hello and welcome. In this video, I want to show the basic, the essential steps when configuring analog to digital converter. Let's open IRC file. I'm going to use PA0 and PA1. So among these options, I choose ADC1 channel 5 for, P, for PA0 and for PA1, I choose ADC1 input 6. Then I go to analog, ADC1, and I have to enable channel 5 and 6. Uh, I have two options, I choose single-ended because the sensor the, that I'm using provides analog data with just one wire. Then I have to choose the prescaler. I'm going to choose prescaler 32. And I'm going to convert two channels. So number I will increase number of conversions to two. Then I have to specify the order of the conversion. First, I will sample channel five, then channel six. The rest we can keep in their default values. Let's save. Next, it's necessary to write the following lines to get the analog data. First, we start ADC, then we command ADC to get one sample. In my case, I will get data from channel 5 of ADC1. Then, using this function, I store the value within this variable. Then, I command again, and in this case, I get the data from channel 6. Then, I can store the data within this variable then I stop. So I'm going to do this process within the while loop and again I'm going to set some delay. Next step we have to create these two variables. In order to check our code, let's debug. To monitor the value of these variables, we can use live expressions. For that, we go to Window, Show View, and Live Expressions. And here we can add our variables, x-axis value and y-axis value. In my case, I'm going to sample x and y-axis uh, of of the analog accelerometer. So if I start and if I change the orientation of the device of the accelerometer, I can see that the values are, are changing as well. So it means that everything is working correctly. Please check my website to get more detailed information about EDC, how each parameter affects its operation. Also, please don't forget to subscribe and press the like button.